All right, so listen, first of all, I'd like to say uh, thank you for everyone for joining us today as the, uh, the bear market has crashed out. Uh, once again, I'm going to say that October 22nd, we reiterated going back to October 14th, we were grinding into everybody. The market is going down to 7,200, and that's where we felt it was going. That we're still in a bear structure here. I'd like to thank Big Chon here is uh, on the uh, podcast with us or on this video with us earlier. Man, great info the gentleman put out. God, that guy is so good. He's over at Ched's house right now training him on how to be a good TA guy. So thank God he's getting some good training that will really help those guys over there at some site called Bitcoin something or other, whatever it is. But uh, all the best of luck to Cheds out there, getting the best training that you guys can get. Listen, please, people, uh, if you haven't joined the Flux Trading Group, right, we are freaking slaying the absolute beast over here. Absolutely slaying the beast. Uh, just some of the trades today, let's, you know, some of the trades today have been off the his and chain. I mean, it's just that simple. I mean, some of these trades today have been absolutely amazing. Look at this, 1.3 BTC short, 1.4. I actually think it's about 1.45 right now sitting at it. It's like a, you know, nothing better to wake up plus 10,000 on a day, you know, plus 10, plus 11,000 on a day. So I'm going to ask everybody to do something really quick who's out there. This is the one and only thing I'm going to say to you guys. Can you please, please, please download the God Mode 3.1? It is free. It is, it is free on TradingView. You go into TradingView. You can find it in the indicators. It's right here. Go into indicators. Go into favorite. It is, where is it at? God mode 3.1. This is, look at, 387 damn likes. 387 damn likes. Dude, this is the most accurate indicator right now in all of crypto, and it's only got 387 likes on it. This thing freaking slays it slays it and it's only got 3,000 look at this this look at I mean TD sequential I love absolutely love TD sequential probably I, one of my favorite all, all time but one of the most accurate trend indicators right now is that three the God mode 3.1 and it's that 33.3 line listen if you don't have it you should get it it's set your chart up set it on BTC set it on one day set that baby on it's pretty easy to set it up right uh, you go you just want to set this up on uh, Bitstamp on the daily and then that's it one line one line all right all right so that's it this thing has just been slaying the dragon for us over here i'm going to go out to my longer term chart the one that i've been riding up here pretty simple here it is we did put up a hanging man on the right so if you come all the way over here to the top right corner of the weekly we threw up a hanging man candle and yes i know it's supposed to be at the top of a trend it was still a hanging man candle because the way i looked at it as a hanging man candle because it was a weekly candle so i looked at it's a very very large time frame but it was also sitting under two yes two bearish crosses right two big bearish crosses so you have the weekly bearish cross which is right here you have the weekly bearish cross of the seven and the 30 and then we have the three day bearish cross between the 30 and the 50 so we had two very big bear crosses and uh and that's that's it and I, I was actually trying to get a little bit higher to add more to my position if you guys have seen my positions that i've been playing and other positions that people have been playing i mean shoot we were you know 100 and what 170 thousand contracts right i mean it was just uh, just laddering this baby down trying to go uh you know Trying to get that quarter million contracts in there at that 8,700 range just didn't work, right? Just did not work. So, uh, listen, I will update my charts. I'm not going to do it right now. So, let's let's actually, I, I will do that right now. So, um, that'll work great. So, now what we're going to have to do is, this is all going to switch to there. There. there r1 so our r1 is going to equal 71 uh, actually i'm gonna i'm gonna put us down to 6800 to 7250 okay is that okay so, yeah there you go 
So I'm going to put the bottom side is 6,800 to 7,250. And I still think there's a 90%, 90, 90%, 90 chance this is hit. 90% chance that that's hit. Okay. All right. So there's that right there. Oh, um. There we go. So I still think there's a 90% chance that that gets hit, right? Uh, the, the, listen, the, the charts are telling me the exact same thing. Bear cross, load shorts, uh, bear ass weaking hang, hanging man, short term. You know, we had the little bull crosses, the short term. Those all played out, got us back up to that 83, 82, right? We actually went all the way up to 83, 83. I missed it by one damn point. One damn point, right? <laughs> One point. Got it to 83.33, and then the bottom fell out on the market, right? Um, the resistance is actually, I'm going to put this resistance at 8200. 8200 to 83.30. Okay. That's going to be really tough. I'm going to have to go back and find some of these levels right now where we're going to be trapped at right here. Um, let's pull this bad boy off. Gonna move this bad boy over. All right, I'm just gonna kind of buzz here. I want to see what else we got here. Nothing. Got 69. Shorts still in disbelief. Listen, this entire thing, the shorts have been in absolute disbelief. I'm probably going to go over one more thing. RSI broke to the bottom on that level of support right there. See this green line right here with the green warning arrow right there. So the RSI did break on the weekly. That's a heavy time frame, ADX. Um, give me a sec. I just want to see where the top side resistance is. 82.30. Oh, shit. 70, 7,800. 7,800. All right, so our resistance on the top, on the top side is actually 7,800, 7,800 to, damn, 7,800. So our top side resistance, 70, actually an 82, 8232. Okay, hold on, I'm adding all this in there. Give me a second. All right, Bollinger Bands, weekly has been touched on a TD9. That's always a good sign. The monthly has not been touched. Once again, 68.29 shows us where our support is. Uh, three days, 69. Look at weekly Bollinger Band, daily Bollinger Band destroyed, right? 7,600 is a good pullback area. Uh, seven, there's 68.45. God, yeah, I mean, I'm going down as low as 68 and change. There's that three-day bear cross we had. There's the weekly bear cross we had. Uh, you guys, we have a uh, bear cross coming on the four-hour, on the 12-hour. And we're going to have another bear cross coming in day in, one day. One day we'll have another bear cross coming. I still think we have just a little bit more to the downside here. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more to the downside here before we uh, make any changes, right? And, and to me, that 6,800 is kind of a really critical point for us to hold right now, right? 6,800 is just a really critical place for us to hold the, hold the fort right now. Let me drop this back on here. Uh, so, all right, what are the charts telling me right now? The charts are telling me short term, more bear crosses. All right, so tell me more bear crosses coming. Uh, we already got that out of the way. Um, 
90% chance we hit 68, 40-ish uh, to, I just call it shit, I don't, want, I don't know how low I want to go here. I just called 7250. All right, we haven't made it down that far yet. Oh shit, 7290s, how far we made it down. <sighs> little more down. Right? Little more down. All right, now I'm going to throw up throw up. I'm going to put up I'm going to put up a very important warning, right? Bit next has loaded 80 to 100 mil of USDT, and it is sitting Loaded. Shit. Um, damn. Where would I ladder my lungs? Shit. Let me get this lined up a little better. Longs and
Okay, give me one more second, sorry. Make sure I have this right. Fuck, 7,100. All right. I mean, I, I don't see any reason why we can't see a bunch of shakeouts right here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I can't see any way, any reason why we can't see a bunch of shakeouts. You know, other than shakeouts, I mean, I really can't see anything 
like people just trying to shake out the weak hands, but that 7800 is the... That's kind of something I would like to see right there. All right. Oh, shit. Um, Darth, what's going on, Darth? Hey, man. All right, and I think that's it. I think I'm good. All right, so here's what I see. I see we still have, we can get some shakeout right now. Uh, no, I got to lower my stop losses, Rodney. I got to put my stop losses down. I'm going to start laddering my losses, my stop loss down. I still think we're going to, oh, shit. I, I, God, I want to take some profit off my stop loss right here. All right, so let's make sure we... Shit, this is wrong. Hold on a second. Should be. S I mean, a hardcore dropout right now is going to be 72 72. Okay. I might even take 30% profits here. I mean, even if we drop down, because we've already hit that 7250. Hit the, actually, we hit All right, there we go.
<laughs> I tell you, it's really kind of funny. All right, everybody. Um, oh, what did I have for the last level? Uh, so what that means is that uh, Bifinix has got a hot wallet, and in their hot wallet, uh, which is their trading wallet, they are packing eighty to hundred million dollars in USDT in their trading wallet. And man, we saw them just move a shitload of stuff, a shitload of uh, USDT all back over to Phoenix uh, from all the other exchanges. They were on Hyobi, uh, Hyobi, whatever the hell that one is, and they were actually had a bunch of uh, on Bifinix and Huabi, and they were over there trading. And uh, yeah, they were they were doing a fine job, fine job, right? Good for them. Good for them. They're making money. Well, they're they're, they're 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 making the market. So all right, that's all I got. Listen, uh, God, I don't even know if I got Joan on still. Joan? Yeah. <laughs> that is so awesome. Joan is in the jacuzzi right now. All right. So listen, everybody. Joan is in the jacuzzi on the yacht right now. It's the only way to be. Uh, I am the vamp and you guys got shown I want to say thank you all so much uh, for joining us today yeah <laughs> I can hear him in my ear I can hear Chone in my ear I can hear the bubbling and I don't know where he's drowning himself in champagne or uh, he's, he's drowning in the jacuzzi <laughs> I can definitely hear you all right everybody thank you so much uh, I am for me the Chonas and all the guys over at Flux Trading, especially our our lucky uh, mother to be, uh, Darth Crypto, who we believe is pregnant uh, with someone's child. We don't quite know, but uh, we'd like to say thank you all. See you soon.